Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mech Spotlight. Today we're going to be taking a look at not a hero mech, but a Nightstar 9J. Um, so even though this is not a hero mech, it's still a special one and you'll see why. But first, I'll give you a quick look at the model. Um, Nightstar, it's a vanilla mech uh, from MechWarrior 5, so I'm sure everybody's familiar with it. I just gave it the uh, Franken paint job. Went with the red, gray, and black like my standard colors are. Let's go back. So, this mech. Let's talk about why this is a special variant. Um, you do get your basic quirks that all the Night Stars have, like angled armor, which reduces incoming armor to da or damage to armor. Uh, command mech, sensor bonuses. Uh, improved targeting. This is uh, giving you some weapon bonuses here. Weapon lock-on timer, weapon spread radius. That spread radius is important for this build. You'll, you'll see that uh, we try to stack as much spread radius, cooldown time uh, as possible, and then also range is, is a bonus that we try to take as much as possible. So you get your weapon spread radius here of minus seven and a half percent, and then you also get some projectile beam speed, or sorry, projectile speed and beam duration um, here, both seven and a half percent bonuses. And uh, now we get the, the night star quirk, uh, so this quirk, and again, if anybody uh, hasn't watched the other videos, I recently uh, added uh, the yet another revamped quirks mod, just the quirks, not the equipment side of it. Um, so these quirks, some of them you'll you'll recognize from the other mods, but um, some of these quirks that you don't recognize, it's because they're coming from that revamped quirks mod. I'm liking it so far. I, I think it adds some really cool uh quirks to the game uh based on like factions that the mechs are, are known to be from and, and a few other things so like the angled armor uh and, and whatnot come from that mod um but anyway so the night star quirk here this is the quirk that all the night stars have uh you're getting some bonus mobility in there some sensor bonus armor uh, repair cost uh in time structure repair cost in time uh those are just because it's a rare mech so obviously it's going to be more expensive and take longer to work on um the same goes with the refit cost in time upkeep cost and then you get a melee damage of minus 25 percent. it's not very good at melee which with me is just fine because i don't usually get close enough for melee anyways uh reinforced cockpit so you're getting a little bit of bonus armor and structure to uh, the head which is nice i guess uh, now here's what makes this variant special because the other variants don't have these. You get SLDF endurance, so this is basically a hero in, uh, armor quirk, right? Uh, where you get the armor and structure bonuses. Uh, it's not a lot. You're just getting like plus two across the board with four on the arms for structure, right? Um, and then it's increasing your armor repair costs and structure repair costs. Um, but it is something, right? So when you add it all up, I mean, it's adding a, a nice little chunk of armor. Um, so it's not the, not quite as good as most of the hero ones are, but it's better than a base model. Now, here's what really makes this great for this build. You get your Star League Relic Quirk. The Star League Defense Force used the best tech of their time. So this gives you turn speed modifier, acceleration modifier, sensor range bonus, weapon weapon lock on timer modifier uh mech upkeep uh cost as well and then here's the ones that we really care about you get five percent weapon cooldown uh the seven and a half percent weapon heat is is helpful and then your range right i said before range was was our third uh priority here uh because it is it does help with this build a bit um so those bonuses we now come over here and we're going to stack with our uh, advanced ballistic fcs so that's giving us an additional 30 percent spread radius reduction uh 30 spread distance and 15 percent projectile speed as well as a 15 percent cooldown reduction so that's huge now we take that and add to it what we got from our couplings uh sorry not the couple couplings give us a little bonus armor there on the arms to make sure our arms survive Weapon stabilizers. This is adding weapon cooldown of another 10%, damage plus 5%, and melee damage minus 15. Like I said, we don't melee with this mech, so that doesn't matter. But the, the cooldown and the damage modifiers, we get double that because we've got one on each arm. So really, you're getting a total of 20% in, 
and 10% on the damage. 20% cooldown, 10% damage. Now we take all of that and we add to that the targeting computer mark eight. This thing gives you an insane reduction on cooldown overall. So now we're, we're getting a, an additional 25% reduction in cooldown. Um, you also get your projectile speed 50% there, uh, minim which is nice. Uh, your weapon range, uh, minimum range doesn't affect this, but you are getting the optimal range and max range of 30% there, and beam duration as well, and predictive ballistic targeting, which isn't a, a big deal for this, honestly. Um, so the main things you're getting from this that we really like, though, is your range and your cooldown, and the projectile speed is, is big as well. Um, so you add all that together, and these LBX-10s that we have, two of them, are going to fire at an insane rate of, uh, rate of speed and they are going to be deadly. They're gonna feel far more accurate because of the increase in projectile speeds. They're gonna have tighter clusters, so you keep these things on cluster ammo, and I'll, I'll explain more about that in a second. Um, and you're looking at, I mean, your cooldown on these is 0.75 seconds. Okay, so it's under a second. It's, a, it, it's three quarters of a second is your cooldown. So you're literally firing every three quarters of a second as long as you're holding the buttons down. It's huge, huge DPS output because uh, you just keep pumping it out. I mean, as long as you've got ammo, you pump it out. It's constant DPS. And with the cluster ammo, you're getting even more bonus damage because the cluster ammo increases your uh, total amount of damage over your uh, slug ammo. Uh, LBX 10, so ammo, make sure you got lots of ammo. Like I said, I threw four doubles in here. Jump jets for a little more mobility, standard electronics packages. So you got your probe, your ECM, uh, and your laser AMS. I, I went with the laser one because I don't really have room for ammo. Well, I guess I do, but I didn't want to bother with ammo. Um, I think that pretty much covers it. We went with a nice big engine because I like to move a little quicker. It's still only about 70 kph uh, with the 390 engine because it is a 95 ton mech. Uh, and that still feels a little bit slow to me. I like to be between 70 and 80 kph uh, for my heavies and assaults, but obviously the bigger assault mechs like the 95 and 100 tonners, that, that gets to be a little difficult. Um, but I did give it the mobility gyro to help out there a little bit. I think that pretty much covers it. As far as how you use this, this build, um, you're not gonna use the slug ammo all that often. Uh, the reason why, and you'll see some of it in the gameplay, it there's just too much recoil, too much kick from firing the weapons, and that when you when you switch the slug ammo to fire at longer ranges, um, because it's firing so fast, you can't aim properly, uh, or you have to slow down how often you're firing, which negates the whole benefit of this build. This build is built around around getting those uh, shots out quickly and rapidly. So it's really built for the cluster rounds, getting in close and just tearing them apart with those cluster rounds. Uh, you know, within a matter of seconds, you can breach a, a CT from up close. So that's really how you want to use it. But I did, in the, I think it was the second game, uh, the ground war. I think I, I demonstrated that a little bit. I'll switch to the slug rounds, try and snipe a little bit with them. But you just have to fire so slow, uh, like at a normal LBX-10 rate of fire, that it really doesn't feel that great. Um, but when you get in there and just unload with basically a fully automatic double shotgun there um, and shred your opponents, it's fun. This is one of my favorite builds to actually play because it's a fun one to play uh, and you just feel like a beast. So with that said, um, the only other thing I'll mention is uh, the mods. Uh, so we have the Von Biomes mod. Uh, Von Saiten recently re released an update to the mod uh, that added two new biomes. So we're going to play in both those new biomes today. Uh, one of them is the Xenolichen. That'll be our first game. Um, it's kind of cool. It's like the forest map a little bit uh, or the, the coastal map. But all the trees are replaced with uh, these giant lichen structures, right? That are about half the height of the mechs, I guess, or, or maybe a little more. Um, so that's a pretty cool one. And then the red moon biome. I really like the moon biomes. Um, the red moon is a nice addition. It, it almost feels like you're on Mars or something. It's got these big uh, red rock pillars uh, that are really cool. I enjoy playing in that biome a lot. Um, so yeah, you'll see that one as well. Um, obviously, uh, we have all the other mods. If you're interested about any of the mods, 
mod list is in the description below. Uh, so feel free to check that out. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any suggestions or thoughts on this build. Um, I always like to see what other people do with their builds and how, how maybe we can improve this a little bit. Um, I'm not completely convinced that these targeting computer Mark 8s are worth the amount of space they take up, but it sure does make the build fun. Um, so I think it's worth it in this case with this specific build. Let me know what you think though. Now I'll just sit back and uh, I'll let y'all listen to some music as we watch the gameplay footage. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.
Target acquired. Shifting to your target, Commander. Commander, take that! 